Hi! So for today, we're going to talk about Bernoulli's equation, in particular Bernoulli's differential equation. So Bernoulli's differential equation solution is also a form of uh, solving differential equation okay, by a form of substitution. Okay, let us take a look with the Bernoulli's equation. So Bernoulli's equation has this form wherein it has a very similar formula for a linear equation, except that we have added a certain variable here raised to a certain real number n. So if you can see here dy dx plus p of x multiplied by y is equal to q of x multiplied by y raised to a certain real number n. Okay, so this is the Bernoulli's equation. We have to familiarize ourselves with this Bernoulli equation. Okay. So what will happen if we are going to divide this whole equation in terms of y raised to n? So what will happen? dy over dx multiplied by y over y raised to n plus p of x y divided by y raised to n and that is equal to q of x. So hence we eliminated y of n here, y raised to n. And what will happen if by the law of exponents we're going to bring this up we know that we have to negate the negative expo uh, the exponent. Okay, We have to negate the exponent in order for this y raised to n to become a numerator. So if we get the reciprocal of that, the exponent should be negated. So we have y raised to n raised to negative n multiplied by dy dx plus by loss of exponent also, since this two has the same base y and y here, if we have this, as a division, by loss of exponent, we can rewrite this y over y raised to n as this. As the exponent of y is 1 and the exponent of n, uh, y on the denominator is n. So we have to, what, get the difference of that. y raised to 1 minus n. So this one is equal to this, by loss of exponent. And that is equivalent to q of x. Okay? So if we have already put the Bernoulli equation in this form, okay, yes, in this form, which we shall call equation 1, okay, as indicated here, we have already put that in this form, okay, we have to do the substitution part, wherein we're going to let v equal to y raised to 1 minus n, okay, and if we are going to get to let y is equal to y raised to y minus uh, y raised to 1 minus n, if we get the derivative of this, this is power rule, this is 1 minus n multiplied by y raised to 1 minus n minus 1. So that as you can see here, 1 minus 1 would cancel, so we are left with y raised to negative n dy multiplied by 1 minus n. So, in other words, this would be our resulting derivative. dv is equal to 1 minus n multiplied by y raised to negative n dy. And if we are going to divide both sides of the equation by 1 mi minus n, we will be getting this. dv over 1 minus n is equal to y raised to negative n dy, of which y minus n, uh, y raised to negative n dy is this term. Okay? That is that term. Okay. So, if we substitute now this, okay, uh, this term in y minus raised to negative n dy, we will be having this. dv over negative n plus 1 or 1 minus n, that is still the same, 1 minus n. Okay, let me just uh, put this into 1, one minus n so you would not be confused. 1 minus n, dv over 1 minus n, dx plus p of x. Now, this y raised to 1 minus n, as we have said a while ago, we let that as equal to b. So, this would be dv over 1 minus n, dx plus p of x multiplied by b, because b is equal to y raised to 1 minus n, is equal now to q of x. So, if we, if we multiply both sides of the equation by 1 minus n, then we will be having a linear equation. And that this is now reduced to a linear form. And we know how to solve linear okay, equation. So basically, the first step is to write 
the Bernoulli's uh, equation, okay, in terms of Bernoulli's equation. And then, we're going to arrive at this form, okay? And then, upon arriving at this form of Bernoulli, we're going to do the substitution. Okay, let's try to solve a problem so that we can have a better understanding of how to solve Bernoulli's equation, or Bernoulli DE. So, we have this, y is equals to uh, y multiplied by 6y squared minus x minus 1 dx plus 2x dy. So, what are we going to do first is we can see here that uh, dy has only one term, which is 2x. So, might as well, uh, we have an idea that we can, or this is linear in y, okay? So, if this is linear in y, this may be Bernoulli, so we can solve this equation. So, if we're going to solve this, we have 6y cubed, distribute first the y, minus xy minus y. We have the dx. So, the next thing is to copy the 2x dy is equals to 0. So, as you can see here, okay, dy has only one term, which is 2x. So, this, uh, this equation has a high probability, has a high probability that uh, this is linear in y. So, if I'm going to rearrange this, okay, such that uh, in this term, I only have dy over dx, I'm going to multiply it or divide both sides of the equation by 2x, so as to eliminate 2x here, and I want dy over dx here, so I'm going to put dx also here. So, if upon multiplying it, so what will happen, we have, we have dy over dx plus, okay, 6y cubed minus xy minus y over the 2x, okay? The dx here would cancel here, so there is no dx in that term. So what will happen next is upon simplifying, we have dy over dx plus 6y cubed over 2x minus xy over 2x minus y over 2x is equals to 0. Uh, and next thing we do here is to simplify 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay, x here will cancel. So simplifying, we will be getting dy over dx plus 3y cubed over x minus y over 2 minus y over 2x is equals to 0. And what are we going to do here is we're going to transpose, okay, one of the terms here that has a power in terms of y. Because as you can see, if we're going to go back to our equation, we have this form, okay? And it is actually uh, in terms of y. The dependent variable is in terms of y. So the, the, the term that is also raised to a certain power is in terms of y. So what will happen here? is that I think this would be the, the term that is raised in terms of y. So what will happen is that if I'm going to distribute that dy over dx, I'm sorry, not distribute but to transpose, okay, we are left with minus y over 2 minus y over 2x is equals to negative 3y cubed over x. Okay? So what will happen is that uh, dy over dx, and I'm going to make this as plus, okay? Minus y over 2 minus y over 2x. That is still the same as this, okay? Is equal to negative 3 over x multiplied by y cubed. And as you can see here, okay? If I'm going furthermore to factor out y in here, dy over dx plus, okay? Negative 1 half minus 1 over 2x, okay? Multiplied by y is equal to negative 3 over x multiplied by y cubed. So we have reduced this uh, form into a Bernoulli form. Why? Because we have the dy dx here. We have the p of x here. And we have the y term here. And we have the q of x, which is negative 3 over x. And we have a y raised to a certain number n exponent, okay? So this is a Bernoulli equation. So what are we going to do after after we have re rewrite it in the form of this Bernoulli? So what are we going to do is to divide, okay, 
the whole side of the equation by y raised to n. Because that is what we did a while ago here, okay? We, we divide it by y raised to n. And our y raised to n is y cubed. So if we're going to divide that, what will happen? Both sides of the equation by y raised to y cubed. So we have dy over dx, 1 over y cubed. Okay, plus negative 1 half minus 1 over 2x, y over y cubed, okay, is equals now to negative 3 over x. So if we further simplify this, if I'm if by loss of exponent, if I'm going to make this as our numerator, we will be having a negative exponent. So y raised to negative 3, dy over dx plus negative 1 half minus negative 2x, okay? Minus 1 over 2x, y, this would be become y squared, okay? y over y cubed, which is y squared. If I wish to transpose this on the upper side to make this a numerator, I will be having y raised to negative 2, negative 3 over x, okay? So we have reduced the form into, if we're going to recall, our equation is now this equation wherein we have y raised to negative n dy over dx our negative n is negative 3 and our p of x we have that and our y raised to 1 minus n is negative 2 okay here and our q of x is negative 3 over x so what are we going to next thing is we have to do the substitution we have to let v is equals to y raised to negative 2 we have to get the derivative of v with respect to y that is negative 2y raised to negative 3 dy. Okay? So, and again, we're going to substitute y raised, y, y raised to negative 3 dy. We're going to get this. Okay? By this equation, we have dv over negative 2 is equal to y raised to negative 3 dy. This is our y raised to negative 3 dy. And that is equivalent to dv over negative 2. So, such that if I'm going to substitute this, okay, this onto this, so we have dv raised to over negative 2 multiplied by dx, okay? I simply substituted this, okay, this, this value onto this, okay? So, we have dv over negative 2 dx. That is plus negative 1 half minus 1 over 2x multiplied by y raised to negative 2, that is v, is equal to negative 3 over x. As you can see, we have now reduced the Bernoulli equation into a linear equation, okay, linear in v, okay? So if this is a linear equation, I would be, I know how to solve the linear equation, okay? So, before, before we solve this, we have to multiply this by negative 2. So, as to eliminate the negative 2 here. So, what will happen? Here, uh, if I'm going to multiply it by negative 2, that would be dv over dx, okay, plus negative 1 half minus 1 over 2x, okay, uh, multiplied by negative 2v, this negative 2 times negative 3 would become 6 over x, okay? And furthermore, if I'm going to distribute negative 2 inside, we have dv over dx, okay, plus, okay, negative 2 times negative 1 half, that is 1, negative 2 times, neg times negative 1 over 2x, that is plus 1 over x multiplied by v, 6 over x. And now we have reduced it finally into a linear equation wherein this is our dependent variable v, independent variable x. And we have the p of x here, okay? And we have the 6 over x here, q of x. So if this is linear in v, we can get the solution of this by, okay? We can get the solution of this by v the dependent variable multiplied by the integrating factor p dx, p of x dx is equals to q of x e raised to integral of p of x dx. Okay, just to make this complete, this is our p of x. 
p of x, this is our q of x. Okay? So, what will happen here? A dx. So, we have v multiplied by integral of p of x, 1 plus 1 over x, dx multiplied by 6 over x, that is our q of x, multiplied by the integrating factor, we have 1 plus 1 over x, dx, okay, and dx. So, <clears throat> what will happen? Our integral here, okay, our integral, integral here, our integral is v, e raised to the integral of this, if we're going to integrate this, is what? Okay, we will be having x plus, okay, because dx, integral of dx is x, integral of dx over x is ln of x is equals now to, I'm going to factor out 6 outside of the integral, we have 1 over x, okay, e raised to, that is still the same, x plus ln of x dx, okay, here. So, by loss of exponent, I can do v multiplied by e raised to x multiplied by e raised to ln of x. This is equal to this because by loss of exponent, we can rewrite this as this. As you can see here, e ln x will cancel. It's equals to the same on the right side. We have e raised to x multiplied by e raised to ln of x dx. So what will happen here is I have v e raised to x multiplied by x because e raised to ln x is equal to x. So we have 6, okay? 1 over x multiplied by e raised to x multiplied by x of which we can see clearly that the x's will cancel. And we have here dx. So you are left with the integral of, let me just rewrite this, v e raised to x multiplied by x, 6 integral of e raised to x dx. So if we integrate that, we have v e raised to x multiplied by x is equal to 6 e raised to x plus c. All right? We are not yet done with our answer because this is in terms of v. We have to substitute it back to the original variable. And we can remember that v is equal to y raised to negative 2. So substituting it back, we have y raised to negative 2 e raised to x times x is equal to 6 e raised to x plus c. Okay? And by loss of exponent, what I can do with this is uh, I can rewrite this as x e raised to x over y squared. Okay? Okay? Is equal now to 6 e raised to x plus c. Okay? As long as you are done with integration, uh... This is an, accept, an uh, acceptable answer. Okay, this is already an acceptable answer. But if we are going to simplify it, x e raised to x, 6 e raised to x, y squared plus c y squared. This could be also our answer. Okay? So let's try another example. As you can see, solving Bernoulli's equation is quite... Uh, would take you a large amount of time as you will be recalling your knowledge again in solving linear equations. So, for our next example, okay, 6y squared dx minus x, 2x cubed plus y dy is equals to 0. Okay, how do you know that this is Bernoulli? Okay, first, you, you actually... Try to solve this in variable separable. If it's not variable separable, then try homogeneous, which clearly states that this is not homogeneous. Try exact. If we try test for exactness, if that is not a test for uh, that is not an exact DE, then definitely that is not exact. And all of the methods that we are going to use to solve non-exact are by the use of integrating factors. And non-exact made exact uses integrating factor. Linear equation uses integrating factor and finally Bernoulli also uses integrating factor so if you have tried all the methods make sure that you try to put it into linear form okay so what will happen here is that since dx is the only has only one term 6y squared i want this term to become dx over dy 
So what will happen? I'm going to multiply it by 6 twice squared and of course dy. So I we are left with dx over dy here minus, I make it plus, okay? I'll make it plus. So I distribute this negative inside. So this would become negative 2x raised to 4 minus xy over, okay? I divided this by 6 twice squared. dy's would cancel. That is equivalent to 0. Okay? So what will happen here? The same thing, dx over dy. Plus we have negative 2x raised to 4 over 6 twice squared minus x to y over 6 to y squared is equals to 0. And we'll have to simplify this 2 over 6 if we have a negative 1 third here, okay? And we have y squared, we have y here. So our equation now reduces to 2 dx over dy plus we have negative x raised to 4, okay? Negative x raised to 4 over 3y squared minus x over 6y is equals to 0. So, as you can see here, you have to transpose one of the terms here in uh, on the other side of the equation. As you can see here, we have a dependent variable in terms of x. And if we have a dependent variable in terms of x, definitely our uh, variable that is raised to a certain n power here is also x. So, if I'm going to distribute this or transpose, sorry, this term, okay, on the other side of the equation, we'll be having x raised to 4 over 3y squared. And what will happen to that is, of course, we have dx over dy, okay, plus, if I'm going to isolate negative 1 over 6y, Okay, multiplied by x here, and I'm going to isolate 1 over 3y squared, okay, multiplied by x raised to 4 here. I got the form of, okay, I got the form of dx over dy plus p of y multiplied by x is equal to q of y, function of y, x raised to a certain power. That is also a Bernoulli equation. Whereas, a while ago, what did I show you is that this is inverted, dy over dx. But now, our dependent variable is x. Okay? So, whatever it is, okay, we will be having a dependent variable of x multiplied by a certain function, p of y multiplied by x. And that is equivalent to q of y. And then, multiplied by x raised to a number, real number, n. Okay? So, whatever is the dependent variable here, which is x, that is also the variable that is raised to a certain number here. Okay? So, you have to familiarize yourself. You, have, you need not to memorize that formula because sometimes the dependent variable here varies. Rather than x and y, sometimes in the application of d, it becomes i, it becomes b, it becomes p. So, you should not really memorize, but you have to familiarize yourself. So, back, back in our lesson here, so we have put it, this into a form that we have x raised to n here. If we divide this whole equation by x raised to n, what will happen? We have, okay, x raised to negative 4, dx over dy. I, I already uh, uh, get the reciprocal of that by negating the exponent of of x raised to 4, so such that it became x raised to negative 4, okay, plus negative 1 over 6 y. So if we divide this x raised to 4, x divided by x raised to 4, that becomes x cubed. And if I'm going 1 over x cubed, okay, 1 over x cubed, and if I'm going to put the x cubed on the upper or in the numerator, I have to negate its exponent, x raised to negative 3, and that is equivalent to 1 over 3 y squared. I hope you could follow what I'm trying to say here. I've made a shortcut already because I've shown you a while ago how we are going to uh, uh, put this into a form of a Bernoulli equation. Okay? So I hope you get this part. Okay? I hope you get this. So if you did not get, okay, you just have to divide this again, okay, full side of the equation by 
okay, 1 over x raised to 4. So if you divide this by 1 over x raised to 4, this would become dx over dy multiplied by 1 over x raised to 4. And I put the 1 over x raised to 4 into the numerator such that given that I'm going to negate the exponent. So we have x raised to negative 4 over dx multiplied by dx over dy plus negative 1 over 6y. And x over x raised to 4 is 1 over x cubed. So I get the uh, numerator, okay? I, I let this 1 over x cubed uh, put the x cubed on the numerator so, such that I have a negative exponent here, okay? And etc., etc. So we have here now the form of our Bernoulli. So what are we going to do upon, uh, upon uh, writing this equation into this equation? We have to let v is equals to x raised to negative 3, whatever term is in this. So we have dv, that is negative 3, x raised to negative 4 because we have to multiply it or we have to uh, have subtract 1 from the exponent by loss of, oh, by powers, by power rule of derivatives. So we have what? I'm going to get dv over negative 3 that is equivalent to x raised to negative 4 dx which is equivalent only to this. So now, I'm going to substitute this. Okay? If I'm going to substitute that, we have dv over negative 3 dy plus negative 1 over 6y. x raised to negative 3 is v. And we have 1 over 3y squared. Furthermore, if I'm going to multiply this by negative 3, to eliminate negative 3 here, we have dv over dy here plus negative 3 over 6, that would become 1 over 2yv, okay, equivalent to negative 1 over y squared, okay. Simply multiplied negative 3 on the both sides of our equation. So, as you can see here, we have reduced the Bernoulli's equation into a linear Okay, linear form again. And this is linear in V again. Okay, so again, for our for our formula, we have V multiplied by E raised to, okay, P of Y dy because we have a P of Y here. So this is, this is our P of Y. Okay, and this is our Q of Y. Okay. So what will happen here is that that is equivalent to integral of the integral of q of y multiplied by e raised to p of y dy and evaluated in dy. So we have now v multiplied by e raised to the integral of 1 half, okay, 1 over 2y dy equals to negative 1 over y squared multiplied by e raised to 1 over 2y dy and we have dy here. So I can factor out 1 half outside of the integral. We have dy over y here is equal, equivalent to factor out negative sign outside of the integral. I have 1 over y squared e raised to 1 half the integral of dy over y, then dy here. So what will happen? v e raised to 1 half, this is ln y, is equivalent now to negative of the 1 over y squared, e raised to 1 half ln y, and we have dy here. So by properties of exponent, I can rewrite this as v uh, logarithm, properties of logarithm, I, I can rewrite this as y or square root of y. y raised to 1 half. It's because whatever the constant here, if we're going to put it inside, we must raise this function, whatever the value in, uh, inside or outside the ln. So this becomes square root of y or y raised to 1 half. So minus or e equivalent to negative 1 over y squared e raised to square root of y dy. Okay? So what will happen here? Uh, sorry, we have the ln still, the ln. Okay? I forgot. I'm so sorry. I forgot to, to include the ln. So we have still ln square root of y 
we have ln square root of y here. As you can see here, e raised to ln would cancel. And we are left again with v square root of y is equal to the negative integral of square root of y over y squared dy. Okay? So, this is a simple simplification by loss of exponent. We have y raised to 1 half over y squared. So, 1 half minus 2, okay, would become v square root of y is equals to uh, negative integral of y raised to 3 halves, okay, dy. So, by power rule, we have negative y raised to 3, negative 3 halves plus 1. What will happen? That would become y raised to negative 1 half over negative 1 half plus c. And if we further simplify this, okay, v square root of y, negatives will cancel, but we will be having 2 as our, okay, as our numerator. And if we let this a positive exponent, we will be putting it down, okay, such that we have this answer, okay? And again, v squared of y is equal to 2 over square root of y plus c. If I'm going to multiply this by both sides by square root of y, what will happen is that I will be having vy is equal to 2 plus c square root of y. And again, we are not yet done because if we rewrite this, remember v is equal to x raised to negative 3. So if I'm going to substitute it back, I'll be having y multiplied by x raised to negative 3 is equal to 2 plus c square root of y. Then by loss of exponent, I can divide this as y over x cubed 2 plus c square root of y. And multiplying both sides by x cubed, we have y is equal to 2x cubed plus cx cubed square root of y. Y. So, this would be our solution for our DE on the second problem. Okay? So, if you like to answer my example here, I will give you a practice example here. Okay? And I want you to comment down your answer if you have time. Okay? Practice problem for you. Okay? You're going to solve the DE as y prime is equals to y minus x y cube e multiplied by e raised to negative 2x. That is a Bernoulli DE. This is a practice problem for you. And if you enjoy or if you learn something from this video, don't forget to subscribe and share it with your, with your engineering friends who are taking up differential equation. So thank you so much for listening and God bless you. This is Engineer Abba. Thank you so much for listening.